Liverpool has to wait until Monday night to kick off their game against Everton, while the rest of the will play across the next couple of days. West Ham takes on Chelsea in the first top-flight game of the weekend, while Leicester vs. Bournemouth vs. Newcastle United, Leeds United vs. for the second time in five days, and Manchester City vs. Aston Villa will all be worth a watch. Liverpool is going to need as many favours as possible if they are to climb the table and give themselves a shot at making the top four spots, and they even have work to do to make European football at all as things stand. Here is the take on all the biggest stories from around the today, including the latest from Todd Bowley and the search for S successor. Super League verdict manager Eric Ten Hag has suggested that the, an idea brought back this week in a revamped format, it has never completely gone away, could be a good thing for the future of football. I think the current structure is good but there will always be initiatives to make it better, to make the football better and that is what life is, said the Dutchman. People always want to construct better, which is a good thing because if it is in favor of the football, it is always good. I am aware of the dynamic of what's going on in sections, but if I see, they're coming up with new ideas I have to have a look at it and I will make an opinion. Says, Ten Hag is right in what he is saying, football should explore ways of getting better. Ultimately, though, there is not a great deal wrong with football as it is apart from there being far too many matches, one thing no Super League is going to fix. Todd Bowley Twitter likes and transfer shortlist Chelsea manager Graham Potter was asked in his press conference today about his thoughts on owner Todd Bowley liking a tweet criticizing the performances of left back. I can't comment, Potter said. I don't know how social media works. Everybody here is really supportive of Mark and helping him get back to the level he can get to and enjoying his football. ESPN also that Boley has decided to sell, Hakim Ziyech, Khalidou Koulibaly and Callum Hudson-Odoi in the summer. Having spent so much in the last couple of transfer windows, players are going to have to depart to make room for even more arrivals, though with everyone aware of that, they might not bring in huge amounts in transfer fees. Says, not for the first time since taking over at Chelsea, Bowley has made the headlines with his actions. As the Liverpool owners, FSG, decide what moves they take next when it comes to their ownership, Reds fans will be hoping for someone who can invest more in the team and transfers, but perhaps in a more understated, background manner. As for the transfer shortlist, plenty of clubs will be eyeing up potential bargain buys. Polisic and Kovacic, in particular, are excellent talents that just need to find somewhere they can be consistent. Replacement Leeds United has been turned down by a third candidate as they seek to find a replacement for U.S. coach, who was fired last week after a string of poor results. The side has been rejected by Feyenoord boss Arne Slot, following similar rejections from Rio Vallecano boss Andonia Raula and West Brom's Carlos Corbran. The that leads could now go back to Raula for a second try at convincing him on a switch as they try and put together a plan for the future. says, firing Marsh was not necessarily the wrong call, he has been under pressure at Elland Road for a while now, but not having a replacement lined up seems like a rookie error. Every game counts when you are in a relegation battle and Leeds appears to have made a mistake by not knowing where to turn next, unlike with Everton and Sean Dyche, who secured the best available bottom of the table specialist.